this is how you can host your Discord bot online 24-7 for free, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using Pylex nodes for this, so go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to this website, and once you're here, you can go ahead and log in with Discord. After authorizing your account, it's going to go ahead and redirect you to their panel right here. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to go over to create. So in here, you're actually going to have to provide a bunch of information on the server that you're trying to create. So for the name, I'm just going to go ahead and say tutorial, and for the description, I'm going to say this is a tutorial host for a YT video. Then we're going to go ahead and choose the location of the server you would like. So you can choose any of these. It's just whatever you're closest to. For me, it's New York. Then we're going to go ahead and choose what programming language you're actually using. So you can use any of these Minecraft ones. You can use Node.js, Python, Java, or Lavalink. And for me, it's going to be Node.js. You can do Python or any one of these. But if you're trying to host a bot, it's probably going to be Node.js or Python. So then you're going to go ahead and leave this to the default settings because that's the best for this host. And if you max it out, then it will probably cause you some issues and it probably won't even go that high. Then we can go ahead and click create. After doing that, you're going to go ahead and be brought to this page. All you have to do is authorize here. And after that, as you can see here on your dashboard, you have one server with this amount of RAM, this amount of CPU, and this amount of disk. So the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go over to account. Now in here, obviously my personal information is blurred out, but you're going to want to get all of this information for the next stage of this. So we can actually go ahead and copy this. We're going to go ahead and put it up here. And instead of account, we're going to do panel. So now here, we're just going to go ahead and copy your username from the account. We can go ahead and paste that into the panel. Then back in here, we can also go ahead and copy the password and we can go ahead and paste that into the panel. Then we can go ahead and log in. And as you can see, it's going to say there are no servers associated with your account. So you can go back in here. We can go over to create and we're just going to go ahead and do this one more time. So we can do tutorial. We can say tutorial video. For some reason, it doesn't create. If you do it one time, you actually have to do it again. So we can do the same information we did before and then we can go ahead and create it. So if we go back over here, we can go ahead and see that it is now installing our tutorial server so it's going to be running the installer so what that means is you're going to have to give it a little bit of time to actually install you can go ahead and try to reload but it might still be installing so just be patient all right so after reloading as you can see the server is right here the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to files and we can go ahead and upload a file over on our desktop here we can go ahead and create a new file and this is going to be a compressed zip and we can go ahead and say auto mod zip or whatever your bot's name is and then zip after it it doesn't really matter what you name it just name it like that we can open up the file that we're going to be using for this which has all of your code in it if you're using replit go ahead and download all of your code files and create a file just like this and then after doing that you can go ahead and drag all of your files into that zip so now as you can see i have an identical zip as to my automator file here so we can go ahead and close out of both of these and i'm just going to go ahead and drag that zip into the actual file manager and after that we can go ahead and unarchive it then we can go ahead and delete that zip then after that we're going to go ahead and check to see where our main file is so for me my main file is my index.js so if i go ahead and click on the src as you can see my main file is right here so the path path is actually at the top so the path is src slash index.js so we can actually go over to startup and you're going to notice here it's going to say js file because this is a js panel but for me it's index.js on default but before as i showed you it is actually src slash index.js if you don't change this it is not actually going to work so just make sure you change it to src slash index.js or whatever your file path actually is so if it actually is index.js just that's how you get to it then that's all you have to do just make sure you update that then we can go over to console and we can go ahead and click on start so this could take a little bit of time because it's installing all of the node modules and all of that information so just be patient while it works now as you can see that was actually really really fast so it went ahead and turned the bot online and it said all of this is working so we can go over to the discord server right here and as you can see this is my bot i have no files on my computer open and it is online just like that so it's as simple as that that's all you actually have to do to host a bot on pi Alex and to host a bot in general. If you have any questions, I believe that it will auto put you into the Pylex server right here, as you can see. So you can go ahead and ask them in their community support channel if you have any issues or questions. But if you would also like to, you can go ahead and join my server in the description below and we'll also be able to help you out. And we also help out with code and errors and all of that stuff. So feel free to join. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.